Hello crafty cuties! Welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, my name is Jessica. I'm so happy that you stumbled across this video. Today I get to share with you my mini Mother's Day journals and I'm really excited. I created these with the idea that Mother's Day is coming up, but they would make a perfect gift for anyone. You could buy them for yourself. And I normally just make full-size hardcover journals, which definitely are a bit more expensive. So I was really excited to be able to put some time into creating something a little bit smaller and more affordable. So I hope that you guys love that. Hopefully I'll have some first time buyers and um, other than that, I'm going to go through all of them. They are all different on the outside, but the insides are very similar. Uh, what else? I will be sending them gift wrapped like this, and I used this really pretty eucalyptus paper. I thought it was generic enough for like any holiday or even if it's not for a gift. And then they are all titled with a little tag, so I will mention um, what that is so you can find it easy on my website which is where they will be listed paperterrace.com um, just remember that the price does include the shipping I never try to trick you and say free shipping and then just add it in anyways um, I do just add the shipping into the final cost because that's easiest for my website and if you're an international member and you're interested I also have a international add-on it's also on the listing, so it should be really easy for you to find, and you just have to put both of those listings in your cart. Um, luckily for these, they're small, so the shipping's not too insane for international. The other thing is if you purchase one of these prior to April 19th, I will be including a cute little handmade card, and they don't say Mother's Day or anything specific. Again, they're generic because I wanted you to be able to use it for whatever you wanted or you can save it in your stash these are just a couple examples and they're blank on the inside and so they're like all layered and really pretty they're all going to be a little bit different but you can kind of see the style that i was going for perfect for spring okay so let's go ahead and get in i'll push these up just a little bit and i will start by um showing you m1 so i just wanted to have one wrapped to show you what it would look like yeah, this paper is really gorgeous. And so again, they're a mini journal. They are, they're not hardcover, but they're pretty, pretty nice and sturdy. And they're all fabric. They all have a little charm bookmark. They're all a little bit different. Some are flowers, some are fairies, some are a little leaf. And then they have a really pretty little ribbon closure here. They're all sewn as well. These are five inches by five and a half, great for a purse or to just take with you. And then the fun part about these is they do have a variety of papers. However, they are all blank, meaning I didn't decorate them or add any decorations. I really just wanted these to kind of appeal to a wider audience. If you wanted to buy these for someone who doesn't know what junk journaling is for, I feel like this would be a really great way for them to kind of you see like, ooh, fun, different papers and have a little bit of variety, but you still have all of the space you need to write and it's not overwhelming with all of the interactive pages. So I really hope that you'll be able to get good use out of them or whoever is going to be using them. And these have about 36 pages front and back, and then they do have a pocket on each side. Um, they all have a little mini envelope and then some type of a cute little journaling card or tag. So that was M1. And now we'll just go through a little bit quicker and I'm just gonna basically show you the outside because now you know what to expect on the inside. But this is M2. And especially since they are all different fabrics, I, I think you'll be able to find which whichever one you're looking for on the website quick enough. This is M3. M3, I'll just set these all over here. M4, this one's so pretty, it has a little fairy charm. M4, I used different colors of binding um, thread as well to kind of match, so that was really fun. This is M5, really pretty vintage sheet that was used for this cover. M6, it has a little leaf charm. Let's see, I think this should, oh, right 
here. M7. This is one of my favorite fabrics. M7. This one is M8. And this is a really pretty like bohemian fabric. So it has lots of sequins. M9. This is a vintage uh, looking Tim Holtz fabric. We have M10. There are 25 actually. We have M11. This is kind of like an upholstery fabric. M12, another bohemian fabric. Has kind of like a gold shimmer to it. Um, this is M13, really pretty bright colors, a little bit of gold, a little rose charm on that one. Let's see, I think we go this way. Yes, M14, and then another vintage sheet. One of my favorite fabrics, actually. M15, this is another Tim Holtz fabric. With lots of little vintage images on there. Love the little bow and flowers. A cute little house. M16. Little vases of flowers. And then a flower charm. M17. We have sunflowers and little bees. M18. Love this one. It's like a velvet, crushed velvet really pretty pink. This one's a little bit different. M19 has that fun mushroom images and then it actually has a little mushroom charm instead of a floral one. I just couldn't hold back from using that one. And M20. Love this mustard fabric. M21. Look how darling that is. M22. This one's really soft, kind of like a fleece. It's so fun to see all of the different prints all together. M23. And if you do purchase more than one, I will I will have them wrapped separately and the little tag will be like on the outside. So it will be easy for you to be able to figure out which is which. This is M24 and this is another bohemian fabric. Really gorgeous. M25. This is another vintage. Uh, I think it was like a sheet or some kind of bedding. But that's M25. Now I have one extra and I don't have this one titled because it's just a tad bit different. It's just a little bit smaller. So this, like I said, this is five inches by five and a half. So this is five and a half inch. Sorry. So this is, let's see, this was five by five and a half. So this is probably about four and 4.75 and five inches, something like that. Um, and it has some little beads and fairy charms, but this one includes a little pack of fairy embellishments. This is from one of the Patreon packs, and I just thought it would be fun to have a cute little set of fairy embellishments to go with since I already had them made up. And then again, here's the cover on that one. There's some glitter on the wings, and it's the same style with the pockets and everything, just a touch less wide. So yeah, that's, that's all of them. So many, but I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing these journals and I had so much fun creating them. Can't wait to send them out to you. As always, thank you guys so much for your support. It means the world to me and I just really couldn't do it without you guys. Um, I do want to mention real quick, I have pre-order journals, which I've been showing on my channel. I currently have two available because I'm working on them. And so I do have them on a little bit of a sale just because I've already started them and I kind of want to keep things flowing. Um, this is one of the covers, just so you know, and you'll find it on, on my website under pre-order journal. So this is 
so basically if you purchase one this will be the next one going out um and then the next one i don't have around me but you can always email me if you are you know wanting something specific i've talked about the pre-order journals a bunch so i don't want to talk too much but those are on a little bit of a sale so you can check that out as well and other than that i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you later bye